Hi there, I'm Ashlyn with FixV IT, and welcome back to our series, Everything You Need to Know About SharePoint. Today, we're going to learn how to open files in SharePoint in a few different ways. First, from the SharePoint web app to the Office web app. Second, from the SharePoint web app to the Office desktop app. And third, from the Office desktop app directly. If you're looking for a specific part of this tutorial, you can find it by hovering over that progress bar below and selecting the section you need. And with that, Let's get started. With this method, you'll be staying in your browser the entire time. To start, head over to your office site and locate the document you would like to open. Here we have a Word document. Go ahead and click the file name and it'll open in a new tab. This is the Word web application where you can make edits to your document in real time all of which save automatically as long as you're connected to the internet. One thing I would like to note is that any non-Office based files, like a PDF, will not automatically open in a new tab. You will have to right click and select open in browser, which then will open in a new tab. Now let's say you want to open the same file online from SharePoint, but in your desktop Office application. With this method, you will be starting in your web browser and editing on your desktop. So let's go back to that original document location in SharePoint. Hover over the document and locate the three little dots. Go ahead and click those and hover over open. This time, click on open in app. You may get a pop-up requesting for Chrome to access your desktop application. If so, go ahead and allow that. Now you should be in the Word app on your desktop. One thing I want to point out is that in the desktop application, you have the ability to turn auto save off and on. You can find this feature in the upper left hand corner. If this switch is in the on position, all changes you make will be saved to the document automatically, as long as you're connected to the internet. If this switch is in the off position, you have to save your files like you normally would by going to file and save. You can also save different copies of this document by going to file, save as, and creating a new copy that way. However, in this new copy, autosave is on. That's because Microsoft automatically assumes you want to enable autosave, so you will need to manually disable it here if you don't want that feature. Finally, let's look at how to open a SharePoint file directly in your desktop office app. With this method, you will be staying entirely in your desktop application and accessing your SharePoint files directly without a web browser. We can search through our SharePoint sites directly in Word by going over here to open and then navigating to the correct file on the correct site. It's a piece of cake. It's really that easy, I promise. All edits you make will be automatically saved as long as you're connected to the internet. And that's all I have for you in this section. Check out our SharePoint playlist for other tutorials, and if you still have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team here at Fixed IT. Thanks for watching.